Hey everyone, it's Ken with Ken's Creations, and in today's video we are going to talk about the offset feature in the Silhouette Studio software, which is one of my favorite go-to tools in the program. For this demonstration, let's go ahead and show you what version of the software I'm running. I am currently running the 3.0.343 SSDE, and all that is is the Designer Edition software. Um, now, with the offset feature, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say they've seen nested shapes and the ability to do nested shapes in other programs. What is a nested shape? Well, a nested shape is where people will uh, use these to make frames or they'll uh, do mats of photos and they need different sizes. And all a nested shape is, is it's a shape and then it obviously goes down in size, whatever a quarter of an inch or whatever you want it to be all the way down to this shape right here. So for example this nested shape you started off with this rough edge and ended with it a smaller rough edge here. Now if you go to the Silhouette Studio store or someone else's um, store they'll actually charge you for these nested shapes and they're super easy to make in your Silhouette Studio software. So all you need to do is you're going to bring up whatever shape you're working with and I have this flower shape and there's this feature now or there's always been a feature with it which is the offset window. Now in the update they did move your icon it used to be down here and now it's down here. Um, so we're going to bring up that and there's not a lot to the offset feature however it is one of my favorite items. You have offset you have internal offset, and then you have the offset distance and the ability to corner or round your offset. The difference is, is you have offset. What this is going to do is it's going to essentially create a duplicate offset of this flower on the outside. So if I hit this, as you can see, we are going to see the exact same thing on the outside. Now, while I'm still selected on that, I can change the distance from my first offset to my outside offset by moving this up and down. So you could go up to a quarter of an inch or you can go to a tenth of an inch. You can also type in what you want it to be. So that's a tenth of an inch. I could say I want it to be a full inch. And you can see it got obviously really big. Um, for this demonstration, I'm going to go up at a tenth of an inch. Now, I can either say corner or rounded. In this demonstration, obviously, it's already cornered, so there's not really a big difference there. Once I hit apply, it's going to set that offset, and I cannot at that point go back and change my distance. So right now, I have two shapes, and they're nested offsets. Okay? So now, that was the offset. There's this internal offset, so if I move this offset that we made on the outer side off for right now and select this one, all the internal offset's going to do is the exact same thing, but it's going to go inside. So as you can see, it created it on the inside here. All I have to do is change it to whatever I want it, tenth of an inch, rounded or cornered, hit apply. Now, on nested shapes, Let's go ahead and get rid of those. On nested shapes, you would start with your basic shape and figure out what the distance you want it to go from the outside to the inside, which I'm going to do tenth of an inch. I'm going to hit internal offset. I'm going to change this to 0 0.10, hit apply. I'm going to then select the one on the inside, hit internal offset, come down here and make it the exact same measurement, 0.10, hit apply. And I'm going to continue to do this by selecting the farthest one in, hitting the internal offset, and then 0 0.10. Apply. And I would continue to do this until I get to whatever offset I wanted. And essentially, that's how you make a nested shape in the Silhouette Studio software. So there's your nested shape, and you could continue to go down as far as you want. Now, um, probably the thing that I use this feature for the most is making my titles. 
And what I mean by that is, as you can see in this Girl Scout frame I made, it says Audra's office. And then I have a shadow behind that and another shadow behind that. This is probably my number one favorite feature in the Silhouette Studio software. So if I was to go to this text, pick whatever text I want, and we're going to type Ken's Creations. And then we can move this around. You're going to select this item. You're going to go to your offset window, and we're going to hit offset. Now, as you can see, right now it drew an offset around each individual letter. However, as soon as I click apply, it automatically welds those for me. So essentially, I've now created a shadow behind this title. Now, if I wanted to create a further shadow, I would select the outside offset, which is right there, and hit offset again, and it would make another offset. All right, so let's show you that again. So we're going to type our title. And let me make it bigger so you can see it here. A little smaller. Once I've done that, I can select it and hit the offset feature and hit offset. Now I would come down here and say how much of an offset do I want it. And let's say I want it at a quarter of an inch. I can select a corner, as you can see there, how it made everything nice and cornered. Or select round, which is going to round everything off. And then hit apply. It automatically welds it. And there's Ken's creations. Now, if I wanted to make an offset on the outside of that, I would select it, hit offset, hit apply. Do the same thing over here. Select the outside offset, hit offset, and apply. And now, as you can see, I've essentially, here's my word, I've created one base, which is this bottom base, this top base, which would go right there, and then my word has a perfect shadow created. Now sometimes these offsets will create little what I call blemishes in your offset. And the reason why it did that one is as you can see in creations of Ken's creations, there's a little space in between the A and a little space in between the zero or the O. Sorry, I guess that's not a O. All right. I guess it's not in the A, but it's in the O, and it's in between the A and the T. Now, if I did not want those there, because in my opinion, I want this to be a solid shadow, I'm going to right-click, I'm going to hit Release Compound Path, and then I can go in here and select these items by themselves to get rid of. So now, I have my base, I have one, two, and then the creations goes right there. So in this video, as you or in this project, you can see I did that with Audra's office. I had my title. And then I basically, let me see if I can find a better picture. There we go. I did one offset in brown, which is this one, and then I did another offset in blue. And it just gives it that much more definition. Did the same thing down here on the daisy, the Girl Scouts, and the Brownies. Once again, you just do an offset twice, and you'll get that image. Once again, this is by far my favorite feature with the offset. I use offsets to do a lot of stuff, but I really do it with font. So if I was to say, I love my subscribers and let's say I want to just go ahead and make this real pretty and do center select the whole thing once again I'm gonna to go to this offset hit offset and I want to make it let's make it a, let's see right about there I like it hit apply it automatically welds it for me isn't that cool?
And then I can continue by doing more offsets on top of that. You guys, that's it. You can just, just have fun with it and make as many different shadows as you'd like. I absolutely love this feature. All right, guys, that's the offset feature. Real simple, real easy, but in my opinion, a very powerful tool. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can always check out my blog at www.creativeken.blogspot.com. Make sure you're checking out all my YouTube videos where I will be doing a lot more around the Silhouette Studio software and soon the Cricut Explorer design space. All right, thank you guys for watching. Keep in mind, this is just how I use the software. This is by no means the right way. There's tons of different ways to use the offset feature. This is just how Ken's Creations does it. Thanks for watching, guys. Go out there and make something so magical. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching today's video, which was brought to you in part by Ken's Creation patrons. You can become a Ken's Creation patron by going to www.patreon.com backslash Ken's Creations, where for $2 a month donation, you'll get access to Ken's Creations Patreon page, his exclusive Facebook Patreon page, where I will be sharing SVG files and a weekly free SVG file, and tons of support from the crafting community. Thank you so much in advance for your donation, and I look forward to having you as a patron.